All right, YouTube, what we have here is a 61 model Bentley. Uh, I'm here in the shop today. And what uh, what I'm doing to this thing is a guy called and said that the old generator wasn't charging. Um, had some problems with generator system. Well, he went, he bought a new generator, but the old generator is right here. This is the new one he bought. Um, and these old cars, the batteries way back here. And everybody knows that an alternator is better than a generator in most cases, unless you're trying to keep one nostalgia. What they use these things for is, uh, weddings. They rent them out to weddings and stuff. But anyway, he needed... A little updating on that so what i done was i actually stuck a alternator on this car now it wasn't made for it you can get one that's made like the generator but we opted not to do that what we done was we made our own system now i don't have any of the wiring tidied up yet or none of that stuff i just actually got this thing going but um had to make some brackets let me grab my flashlight where I stuck that thing. Um, right here is where the old generator sat. It bolted onto these three bolts, a bracket. It looks like this right here. And then it had two little old flat bars. If you can see them down in there, there's one there. And then one over there that came up and crossed. And then this bar here actually fit down there. And that's how you adjusted your belt. Now, what I done was I made a flat bracket out of some quarter inch plate. You can see that. It goes all the way up. And I fixed it to where it would miss the belts and all that stuff. Um... And then I went and got a old 60 model F bracket. They've got these on eBay and different things. Um, and put a, drilled a hole back there and put a bush in and fixed it to where it wouldn't hit the alternator. Because it's a little bit tight. If you, if you put one on there and it hits, all you got to do is take a grinder and grind it rounded looking. You can kind of sort of see how I ground that one right there around to where the fin's right here. The little cooling fins right here wouldn't hit that bracket because they will hit according to how it's made. And then basically I just got it up there and got it lined up with the belt. Of course I've got new belts going on this thing right here. Got it lined up with the belt. <clears throat> and then I made this bracket right here. I just took a piece of quarter inch flat bar and ran it over to where the aftermarket AC is which is plenty strong enough to hold the alternator. Snugged it up where you got your, you know, quarter to half inch play here. Um, run me a ground wire around over here to the motor. Grounded it back here behind where the coil is grounded. And then I took the old, just in case somebody's trying to do this to theirs. I took the old battery wire, which went to this voltage regulator. Right here where it's this got a B at. I took that wire, which comes off of right here, and I took and basically put a big, huge buck connector there. And what I'll do is I'll take and cut that thing, and then I'll solder each end of it, and then I'll loom all this right here. As long as you got, you know, your main wire that come off of this, which is battery power, it's going to charge the battery back there. So, uh... That and that makes the parts readily available. Now, I'll drop the telephone. Ugh, sorry about that. But uh, then you've got, I just went and got this connector. You've got the exciter wire. Then you've got your um, wire that runs around back here, your positive wire, which is your B2. Um, 
I just hooked it back straight back to here. It works fine. I got people trying to text me at the same time. But what I done was I went up here and just found me a switched power and that yellow wire runs to that exciter wire which if you look back here on this one this was a field and this one's the r which is one uh it's a little bit different than some videos but uh just pay attention to that but uh this one right here is only hot when you turn the switch on and this one right here is hot once the alternator starts charging <coughs> Um, or when you turn, no, it's hot all the time. I'm sorry. Cause you got power on this. You got power on this all the time, but this right here is your, your, uh, power wire. This one stays hot. This one right here is only for the exciter. Now what I did was, is right in there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Right in there. There's a one way diode. Power can go this way, but it cannot feed back and come up through into this fuse box with that diode being in there. I repeat, make sure that you got that diode correct. That diode, it only power can power will stop right here if it tries to feed back anything past your battery voltage. Um, if something goes crazy in the alternator, it won't set any of this stuff on fire or get it too hot in the car or anything. Um, that's what the diode's for. I put my own diode in there. You can buy these harnesses with the diodes already in them. Uh, I'm good enough at soldering and wiring that I can I can do that. But uh, you can you can buy these diodes online if that's something you want to do yourself. I keep them around here for trailers and different things. But uh, she works good. Um, they use these things like I said in weddings and different things. So getting caught on the road and all that stuff when you got a bride uh waiting on you not too good or if you got a unit if you got a bride in the car battery goes dead and not real good but uh as you can see we're sitting right there about uh i know this thing this gauge is uh, about 12 3 i got it hooked up on the uh amp pan this whole thing's got a Pretty nifty looking dash in it. Kind of looks like a little airplane cockpit, but uh, the uh, amp hand sitting way over here. Zero. You crank her up. Give her a little throttle. You can see the amp hand goes over and it will come back once it, the alternate, once the charging system sees that, hey, I got enough power in me for what I just used to start the battery with. I don't need no more power. So she charges right up. You go back here, look back at our one in the back of the car. She's sitting over here at right at 14 volts, 14.2. That's uh that's basically it. Uh, if you have any questions or you got one of these old things that you having a little bit of problems with it i do work on a lot of the wire and stuff like that and these things uh as far as the charging system i put the acs on them different things like that but uh, if you have any questions about one of these things or or any alternator problems just give me a call uh phone number is uh 678-725-9953 that number again 678-725-9953 um, I'm not perfect. If you see anything in the video that I might have overlooked or whatever, call me out. Send me a message. Text me. You got my phone number. Call me. Say, hey, I did this different or something, you know. Always learning. But uh, anyway, hope this video helps you out, buddy. Uh, if you like it, like my videos. I got a bunch of them. Subscribe. And uh, but if you have any questions, please give me a call. Mostly all I do is informative videos anyway. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.